good. You are going to love it. Um, it's a Reddit story. I've just posted one actually that I filmed this morning, which was so dramatic and so interesting. I love these Reddit stories. They are so interesting um, and so funny. So definitely let me know if you enjoy it and I'll be posting more. It's okay. Am I the asshole for telling my girlfriend she can leave after she berated me in front of her friends? I recently had a cookout with my girlfriend, who's 26, and her friends came. First off, I'll admit that I'm bat batting out of my league. My girlfriend is gorgeous and I'm an average guy. Whilst I don't know her friends, they seem stuck up. Throughout the event, I tended to notice that she did not compliment me one time and instead took constant jabs and berated me. She commented on my receding hairline. She said I had an awful tattoo. That's right, my friend gave me it. She said I'm a lightweight and I'll be in bed by eight. She said my van is a piece of rubbish. And she said, I don't have any exes because I'm awkward. And I mean, there's some truth to this, sure, but it's messed up because I'm with my friends. I'll be giving her the best compliments. And the only thing she said that was relatively nice was that I made her feel safe, which I guess is a compliment. Anyways, after I asked her why she took so many shots at her and she said she was just joking, no, I think he meant so many shots at him. And she said she was just joking and I was being a child. I told her she can leave if she feels like I don't bring anything to the table. And we argued some more and dropped it. We're still kind of walking on eggshells though. I feel like we've all been in this situation. Let me know if, if you have. Um, you know, when you're with someone and they don't, give you as much back or you feel like they're slightly kind of putting you down especially in a social situation it sounds to me like she is trying to berate him um by saying he's got a receding hairline saying he's got an awful tattoo a lightweight his van's rubbish he doesn't have any axes like what why is she bringing his axes into it that's weird and saying she, he's awkward and it, it sounds like she's said this in front of everybody which i don't get like why would you say that kind of thing in front of other people i definitely don't think that's acceptable behavior i think the common response is that it's definitely she's the problem not him and i let me know if you guys agree, um, but I would definitely, I would definitely agree that this, in this case, it's her that's the problem. So, one of the comments has said, so much this, if someone has an awful personality, no matter how externally beautiful or handsome they are, that was it, because he said, oh, she's out of my league, well, why is she out of your league if you're... A nice person doesn't just because she's beautiful doesn't mean she's a nice person right I hope OP really takes in the message that self-love is important and looks like this breakup is his first step in that direction oh this is a nice response as well I absolutely love the phrase so I gave myself the grace that people didn't in my past that is so true so basically it comes down to the fact that they might be the most beautiful person in the world, but they're not in the inside. So that counts for not very much, really. I definitely think that this this guy is not the problem. I think the girlfriend is the problem. Let me know if you agree. Let Drop, drop me a comment or a like and let me know if you agree. We have, this one's interesting. Are you ready? The other day, my sister, 36, female, was complaining to me that her family is chaos and she doesn't understand why everyone can't get along and why they never have a truly good moment whilst everyone's together. 
I listened to her for around 20 minutes and she told me I was being quiet. My response was that she clearly needed to vent and I didn't want to interject. That was mostly true, but I also think my little sister, my sister is a little insane for thinking she'd get to have a nice, neat little family given the craziness in her family. For context, my sister had her first child at 18. My nephew, Shane, who's 18. She dated Shane's dad for a while and found out that Shane was one, found out when Shane was one that her boyfriend had another girl pregnant and so they broke up. My sister and the other mother both got arrested for fighting. Okay, it's getting spicy. She swore she would never let that woman or her child near Shane. She got married at 21 and had two more kids, Katie and Rye. She filed for divorce straight after Rye was born and her ex-husband is nowhere in sight since. A year later, she met another man who had a baby with someone. My niece Lily is not my sister's biological child, but she raises her as her own, though unofficially since she's not adopted. Katie got married again, had Milo, and with that husband got pregnant with Sage, whilst married, but her ex-husband is not the father. This is getting confusing, this is multi-layered, it's like an onion. Her youngest bio so far is Niall, and his father is not in the picture either. Okay. <laughs> My sister is married again. Her husband has two kids from his first marriage and two kids from his second marriage. He also had a child in his life who is not his biological child. Doesn't get along with his biological children, but he treats this child like his own. That's a good sign. Okay. The household, the household has many complicated relationships and divided loyalties. You are telling me. There are complications with some of the other parents involved, and other, but even among my sister's children, they are not all cohesive close siblings and some resentments exist for one reason or another. Anyway, Lily was venting to me. She said that nobody she knows has a family so incapable of getting together as hers. She asked me why I thought... She asked me why... This is a crazy story. She said nobody she knows has a family so incapable of getting together as hers. Maybe, I think that's supposed to say so incapable of getting along together as hers. She asked me why I thought that was and I said very blended families are more complex. She told me there are people with bigger blended families than her. I told her bigger doesn't always mean having as many others involved as hers. Then she said again that all are family and they act like they don't want to be and that's when I said probably because it's oh, okay here comes the line probably because it's more of a circus than a family. My sister told me that was really unkind and untrue that they are a family even if others can't see it. She told me she expects an apology before we can speak again. Am I the asshole? I think that's a little bit like far, that comment that the, it's, the family's a circus. I personally think families are difficult. Families are always multifaceted and things, you know, are said that aren't necessarily positive. Um, and not everyone is going to get along with everyone, but I don't really think that that comment about the family being a circus. But at the end of the day, a family is a family. It's not a circus. No matter how difficult it can be, I don't think it really did warrant that comment. So on that one, I would say they are. They're coming in hard in the comments. It's what it is, but it isn't the children's fault. Like. Yeah, I, I just don't think it warranted that. Um, yeah. Especially for the children, it's not their fault, is it? Okay, that one's funny. Right, should we 
but it just sounded confusing like how would you keep up with all that it's a lot right I Am I the asshole for telling my children's stepmother to grow up and stop asking a teenager for support? Ooh, okay. I am 39 and I have two children, Kimmy, 14, and some, oh, and a younger boy at nine and share custody with their father, Dave. Kimmy is starting high school soon and her school sent a list of their extracurriculars. I want my children to be academically inclined and join clubs to meet people. Yeah, I can get that. I told Kimmy to pick some clubs and as of right now, she's picked out 10. That's a lot, which we are definitely going to shorten down. Yeah, like how is she going to fit 10 into a week? 10 clubs? Wow, she's going to be a busy girl. Okay, so Kimmy sent a list of clubs to her father so he could help her. He didn't respond and instead I got a call from Dave's wife, Amy, a little later. Amy asked me if Kimmy was really going to join all of those clubs. And I said, not at all, but probably some of them. Amy followed up by asking if Kimmy could only join one of the clubs on her list, which confused me. And I asked why. Thank you so much for the support, Nazish. Amy explained that she had to go to work soon and she really needs someone to take care of her kids. Oh, she was hoping that Kimmy would be able to go to their house straight after school and take care of them. So she was wanting Kim to be her babysitter, her stepdaughter. Oh, Amy has three kids under 13 and recently has had a baby with Dave. That's her ex-partner. Kimmy has ADHD, which makes it hard for her to take care of her own needs. So she's actually putting onto this poor 13 year old who needs to look after herself first as the priority as well. Okay, I already feel extremely uncomfortable leaving her with four kids that young unattended. Yeah, that is a lot. Amy didn't even mention transportation and how Kimmy will get there. I told her no. This upset Amy. She told me that Kimmy is part of her family too and as a family, they all need to chip in. And according to her, Kimmy should chip in with the babysitting. Okay. She ranted on, giving me a sob story as to how she was struggling already with Dave working, how hard it was to be mum to four kids who depend on her so much and how expensive childcare was nowadays. Okay. I told her no and why I was uncomfortable, to which she just reiterated her story, and this happened twice. So she actually said no three times and she was still asking. Now, she thought it was clear that no meant no. I interrupted her and told her no is my final answer and she's honestly pathetic to ask a 14 year old for support and it sounds like she needs to grow up instead of relying on children to pick up her slack. Ooh, she went in. But sounds like, um, in my opinion, she, so far, Amy deserved that. Right, okay. As you would expect, Amy and Dave are upset at her, which she doesn't mind about. My only issue is that when I told my sister, she thought I was being cruel. Oh, am I the asshole? I would say Amy deserved that. Amy is out of order, in my opinion, because, ugh, I don't know, like, this little girl is 13, she's starting secondary school, she wants to make friends, wants to get involved with clubs, and you're asking her to go and look after your kids, instead of being the teenage girl that she needs to be, and if she's got ADHD as well, she needs more stimulation she needs to be actively encouraged to socialize and in a setting like that that will really benefit her so she's instead of putting on extra pressure with these other children like yeah i think children do need to help out and help the house and help the house flow but that is a bit much don't you think there's a few edits, so I hope you're ready. Common question I'm being asked is what custody looks like. Interesting. 
my kids go to their fathers once a week every month and stay with me for the rest so that's one week out of four but there are times where they stay at their fathers longer than expected with my permission for instance the kids stay a couple of weeks with their dad at summer sometimes they stay an extra few days but the custody is officially me three quarters and him one quarter with me being their primary caregiver i did too a lot of you guys are asking about amy's kids the oldest around is around my son's age, so I think that was nine. Albeit a bit older and I literally have no idea if their father is helping them or if they have the same father because it's none of my business and not at all my kids. Edit three. <laughs> Whilst I'm very glad a lot of you fellow millennials liked the Babysitter Club, can you please stop using it as a reference? I read some ridiculous comments on this post, but using fictional 12 year olds who acted like teenagers as a reason for my child to babysit are one of the most ridiculous ones I've seen. That's like if I used Aladdin to prove why my kids should get a GD. Edit four. <laughs> this, is, this is mad. Okay, she's not a happy bunny. Additionally, I don't think struggling mums should be bashed, but they should be treated like humans and need to know when boundaries are crossed. Dave and I have been co-parenting for a while, so there was a time when I was in Amy's shoes and wondering what I would do with my kiddos. A thought did cross my mind and I was... A thought that did not... Ah, right, okay. A thought that did not cross my mind was asking a minor... This girl is only 13, that's fair. Um, to unwillingly drop all of their interests. There's a difference between setting boundaries and knowing my child can't take on a responsibility and simply wanting to put a struggling mother down just because it was another Tuesday. Edit five, it goes on. My kids have also been taught to this about, have also talked to me about this. And we're setting firm boundaries with stepmom and dad. Sounds like she's sort of sussed it. Ooh. Yeah, I think that basically uh, I think everyone's in support of Kimmy. Kimmy needs to have her own life. Uh, it does sound like everyone is on this woman's support team. Uh, you only have one childhood to explore your options at school and extracurricular activities, going outside, meeting friends like 13, you're just joining, um, just joining high school. That's an important age, isn't it? Yeah, I definitely think that Kimmy needs some more support from her dad as well. Like he needs to speak out in support of Kimmy, making sure she's not being used as a nanny. But yeah, that's that's how I feel she should have handled it. It's probably that way. It sounds like there was no other way around it. She wasn't really gonna get any support from anyone with that one. So guys, that is the end of Reddit readings for tonight really hope you enjoyed it please do check my page if you are after any more whilst i'm not here and i want to know your your thoughts let me know also drop me a comment on my recent post telling me what you think about it it's a it's a juicy one and anything else that you want to hear from me me if you want any themes from these reddit stories let me know if there's anything you specifically enjoy and i will love you and leave you and see you guys very soon bye